Yo, yo, guys, back with another video. Today is going to be part two of the sub rogue guide. And what we're basically going to be talking about is when to use your cities and basically all that stuff like disarm, what talents you want to be running versus what comps. It's going to be I'm going to try to get as many comps as I can, but uh, yeah, it's, I'm going to try to make the video at least 20 minutes long or so, maybe 15 if possible. But um, basically the, just the general stuff that when you're in arena, what cooldowns you need to be clicking and all that stuff. Because you know, you see some people using evasion at full HP, disarm when nobody's clicking anything. So I'm just going to tell you guys when to click stuff uh, and how to use your abilities um, in a correct way. So you don't just click random stuff and then get killed for it. So I will meet you guys in the game what we're going to do is we're going to open the windwalker and we're going to pre-evasion and we're doing that because he's either going to trinket stun me or trinket port now usually i always evasion as you can see in my videos i always evade we're going to stab this guy as you can see we're going to kinney and we're going to evasion as you can see he's going to trinket port unless we have no damage we'll find out in a second so he just he just dies so here as you can see we're going to cloak his a bomb and his a bomb won't do any damage to us so as you can see, the cloak is basically doing nothing to us. We're going to 1v1 this guy, and we're going to blind him here. We're going to trinket. We're going to stun him again. We're going to vanish. He stuns me in the vanish because that was in the 1v1. But you vanish for the extra shield, basically. So as you can see, I get a 21k shield, which doesn't allow him to basically just 100 me like that. So we're going to wait for the DR, as you can see here, and then we're just going to kidney. And pretty much the game's over. Not much this guy can do about it. He has no Iceborne. My guy actually stuns again, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. We're going to disarm. And without A-Bomb, this guy's not going to do any damage because he's not unholy. So he does just get taken out. And that's how you use your cooldowns versus the DK and the Windwalker. Now, usually I always evasion on my Kinney. Now, you don't always have to, but I usually do because almost 9 times out of 10, they're going to trinket. They're going to trinket stun you or they're going to shrink a port but i usually like to evasion especially when you're facing a double dps like that because it really comes down to whoever gets shrink at first what kind of wins the game because their next stun they kill me and my next stun i kill them always going to vendetta and then sepsis so you save your cloak and shrink it for that occasion but as soon as they sepsis you you shrink it cloak and you'll cloak the sepsis and almost all the bleeds which i won't allow him to one shot you instantly so that is how you counter assassination one shot rogues. And if they do get your trinket, you literally cannot drink it unless it's um unless it's a vendetta sepsis go. Because if you do, you're just gonna die. You can't survive a sepsis vendetta go. So what we're gonna do here is actually open and then we're gonna blind the priest and swap because I give them the opener, because why not? So we keep pre PIs as you can see, and as soon as he vendetta sepsis, we're gonna trinket cloak. So as you can see he doesn't, we're gonna get his we get his um his here and what we're gonna do is basically go for our go here as you can see it disarms so he evasions so we're gonna back step disarm him here because through evasion you can back step so in about three seconds we're gonna file here so we'll file now we're gonna restealth hopefully we don't let him restealth and as you can see they have no trinkets now I, he's gonna wait for the trinket boy and he's basically gonna vendetta sepsis win the game as you can see i didn't trinket so, I'm in a good spot. He can't just 100 me. So, I'm going to wait for my hearing button, and we're just going to kill him in a duel. Since he's not disc, he has nothing to basically heal him or, you know, help him through my 1v1 duel. So, we're going to get his thing off here. We're going to kidney shot him here. We're going to trinket. Now, it's good to trinket blind, but it's also not, depending on if you know you can get the kill. As you can see, I get the kill here. And he does that. Uh, he fears, but I was just out of the range of the fear. If he got the double fear, he actually would have uh, saved the C, but uh, he did miss the fear. So we do get the dub. And we're going to basically evasion when our either our DPS is trapped or something in between them. Now we're going to disarm when he bursts, and I'll show you where, what I think everyone knows what survival burst is. It's like a thing that shows up on his nameplate. I have forgot the name of it, even though I play survival. But um, whenever he clicks that, we're going to disarm him, and that'll stop most of his damage. Obviously, his bombs are going to be a lot of his damage. So you're not going to be able to stop everything, but you'll be able to stop enough to where you're not getting 100 out instantly by a hunter. Now, we're going to open here in a second. 
because my guy's actually getting cornered. So we're going to open. He instantly stuns me. So as you can see, he pops the uh, coordination. So we're going to do this. We're going to blind. We're going to kidney. We're going to evasion. We're going to use our files because we're getting low, obviously. Unfortunately, he didn't shrink it, so that kind of sucks. But we still have evasion. We're going to evasion now. Obviously, we have a vital on me, so I'm going to be taking like unhealable damage for a while. But I have evasion, so his kill shot can't actually hit me. But as you can see, I'm getting lower and lower. Out of my evasion, I'm going to vanish. You want to make sure you use all your CDs, you know, after another. You don't want to like use evasion, then instantly vanish. You want to get, you know, all the usage out of it. So obviously, he's going to flare me here. So he flares. We're going to come out again. So my guy can land a hex and be really good, but I don't think I he actually lands that. I can't even my bomb here. Nice hex by my guy. And we do kill him, as you can see by that CC. So using your CCs on top of each other is really bad, but if you use your files right, you're literally going to be able to just heal through the damage for a little bit. Avatar is when you want to disarm him. So you don't want to just disarm him from nothing. You want to wait until he clicks all of his buttons. And then disarm them. And usually five times out of ten under like 2k they're going to trinket. Especially when they're playing double DPS. So remember as soon as he trinkets you're going to evasion. You're going to do those two trades for his trinket. Which is fine because you're getting trinket. Usually when a warrior trinkets he dies. So looks like it's a boost. So it's Cubit. I don't know who that is. But we're going to stab this guy. Can him. As you can see he trinkets instantly. We're going to disarm him on his damage as you can see. He's counter striking. Add a disarm. We're going to evasion here. Unless he goes my shaman. Nope, he goes me. So we're going to evasion. We use one file here. Don't need to use both because it's bad. Looks like the shaman's actually just going to die here. So the shaman just dies. Going to get a seed real quick. So we get a seed, as you can see. We're going to do his blind. As you can see, we still have file and we have vanish. We have a lot of cooldowns and he has no trinket. We also have blades. So make sure we have our slice and dice up because of that conduit. It actually heals us, which is really good for us. The eyes are coming up, but it still has about 45 seconds. Now, as you can see, we have Vanish. We have Cloak. We have Disarm coming back up. This guy's already at 83% with no wall because he used every button in the opener. We're going to kinny him, and we're basically just going to kill him here. Not much this guy can do about it. We're going to space this time for extra damage. So he does get a fat heal off, but he, it doesn't matter. He's kind of just dead. So we do take him out. In that situation, he literally trinketed a god. He, he trinketed this arm. So at that point, we just kidney 1v1 him. And if you've been watching all of my past videos, you kind of know already how to 1v1 Shadowy Duel. Even if you're a beginner, you still are going to kill him. He's not running cheat death, so he kind of just dies. Not much he could do. So we hit a fatty at 20 canvas rate. Didn't even have to use our trinket. Our trinket didn't even go off in time because we have the tier set on. So. No clue. So what we're going to do here is go Hunter. As you can see, it's a BM. So I'm running maneuverability. This arm can be good, but I don't really run it. I usually run tricks when I'm playing Rogue Mage. So I'm playing Rogue Shaman. So I'm going to run maneuverability. Now this arm is decent, but as you, all this kid's going to click is his, um, kill, um, his kill command. And that's going to be most likely his top damage. A kill shot can be, uh, you know, his big other damage, but usually it's just going to be his uh, kill command. But what we're going to do here is basically open, and we're going to blind him instantly. So we blind, we're going to kidney. He trinkets, a kidney shot. He pets X as well. What we're going to do is sap here. We're going to sap now. And we don't really have to use much cooldown, so we could cloak this to get to him, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to resap instead. Keep doing damage. We're going to restun him one time. Now we're gonna stun off this stun. And as you can see, we're getting our, you know, we're getting as much cooldowns as possible on our one single there go. So we still have every cooldown. And my guy is actually in a rough spot here. It looks like he does get taken out. He does mark me. Not fun, but we have our carrying button. So we're actually gonna evasion. We're not gonna cloak his carrying button, which could be smart to do, but we're not gonna do it because we're gonna save it for the fear, which he uses for no reason. So what we're gonna do here is actually. Bloke now, we're going to kill him in a 1v1 as of right now. And he should pretty much die unless he gets a fat heal. No, he does not. We're going to stun this guy. We're going to vanish because we don't want to get soloed by the priest. And as you can see, 
it looks really scary for us. But saving that one cooldown could have won us the game, especially like fear. If he saved fear for the 1v1 and we didn't have cloak, we would have lost the game. So that is how you counter a rogue. You just do something through the shadowy duel, and he used um he used his fear for no reason, and that's basically even though I already know how to play versus priest by now, you know. Being not mind games either, it does not help them. Now, Kyrian's good, but not having mind games will make a rogue cloak almost instantly, almost every single time. Almost. Any good rogue might hold it, but if he, if he mind games instead of having the Kyrian, he would have killed me with the hunter's damage. Because I would have just, I would have filed into mind games, it would have forced my cloak, and then he would have had fear. So, basically we do kill him, and not much this guy can do about it. We're going to step to him. Gonna sap him here. Guy was pretty much just lost, so I will see you guys whenever we do kill him. I'm playing correctly because he's playing Kyrian build, which allows him to basically 100 me. As you can see, he's positioning himself over there so he can carry and kill me. So I'm just gonna show you an example. Let's say I had no cooldowns. Watch what he's doing. So he's luring me back here, and he's gonna use his carrying button. So as you can see, look how far it is away from LOS. So I can't let him, but I'm gonna give him the opener here. So he's running stun, so he's gonna stun using his carrying on me. So he's going to do it any second now. But Kenny, I'm here. He's probably going to shrink and use his Kirin, or he's not going to use anything. Looks like he's not going to use anything. As you can see, he fears. He might stun me off this and then use his Kirin. We'll see. So as you can see, he uses it. He stuns me here. We're going to cloak out of this. This is the perfect time to cloak. This is his whole Kirin button. This is his only way to kill me. Now we're just going to line. And as you can see, he can't kill me anymore because his Kirin is done. And he might leave the game. Here, we're going to pre-file. He actually guardian, very good. So now he's gonna push in because he knows he has his carrying button. And he knows if he lets me have a free restart, he's in a bad spot. So we're gonna stab him here. Now he has no guardian, we have blades, we have trinket, and we have our carrying button coming up. The game should be over here, but you know, you never know when you know, you're know you a rogue, so you could get very unlucky. That is the rogue play style, so we're, we're gonna find out if we do kill him or not. We're gonna shrink it and win the game. That's how that goes. Okay, boys. So, um, this is gonna be another double DPS. So this is where I run cheat death. This is where I run disarm. The same dynamic here. What we're gonna be doing here is on vendetta sepsis. We are going to trinket cloak. Now, this is how you're gonna bait a good uh, trinket. What we're going to do here is kick him, and as you can see, he vendettas instantly, so we're going to do this, and we're going to cheat this guy, he's going to come fear. So, it looks like he gets a fear, we do not trinket, because as you can see, he didn't sepsis the target, so what he's going to do is, he's trying to bait trinket, and then he's going to trinket, uh, sepsis us. We're actually going to DR Kinnium here. We're going to cloak offensively, which is kind of good, because we have evasion, so we're going to kill the Siphon instantly for our teammate. And basically just, one heal little damage, he gets a resell, nothing to do there. We're gonna file here. Rogue opens. We're gonna trinket blind so we can help our teammate. As you can see, we get trinket. Really good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna one v one him here. So right now, out of this kidney shot, we're gonna one v one. He has fear, which kind of sucks, but we should be able to get away from it here. As you can see, we kill him here. I sap him, and that is how we do it right there. We blind him. He trinkets, and we do get our. 1v2 situation on the way. So, two seconds we're going to open and basically just 100 ohm. Now he's going to trinket my first kidney. We're going to cloak as soon as he trinkets. So, uh, it looks like he gets it off first. He's going to night fail on me and everything. So, we're going to cloak here. We actually cloak his stun as you can see. We're just going to do damage here. Cancel. So, we're going to stun him instantly. And now we're going to run again. Because every time we get a cooldown, we have to just, you know, kite. As you can see, he gets a restealth, but all we do is sap him, because every time you know if you get out of combat. Basically, what we're actually going to do is we're going to be able to kill him, and he won't have his disperse. So, he's actually just going to... Oh, I do DR. Ooh, that's not good. I do cheap shot him, though. So, I messed it up. He even paid attention, but he does die anyway. <laughs> so, we DR, we DR, but I wasn't even paying attention. But, you know, we do still win. So, we take the dub.
So to be annoying, what we're going to do is disarm him on that. And he's usually going to trink it. And what we're going to do is instantly kidney him off that. Or we get blind. But we're usually just going to kidney him. And he doesn't have trinket at the point. So he's going to pet sack. And if he's not running a pet, then he kind of just, the priest has to click something. So that's how we counter as we go. You can also evasion. So if he trinkets instantly and he's far away, like if he backsteps and gets away, your evasion actually counters his uh, damage. So as you can see, we're going to use our cooldowns right and we're going to live. Or get one-shotted by a 50k shot. We'll see what happens. So what's going to happen here is I'm actually going to give them the opener. And then we're going to blind Kenny the Hunter. Unless he free double taps. Then we're just going to... Probably going to give them the opener regardless, I think. I think it's more fun this way, so it helps. We're going to open here. As soon as the hunter opens, we're going to blind. So it looks like the hunter is actually sitting in stealth. We're going to get a restealth. He actually death repairs for no reason. He actually traps, so he's going to flare me out, most likely. So as, as you can see, he tries to flare me out. We're going to try to sap him. So he does get me out here. He aim shots, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to kin him here. He does trinket. It looks like it's a double trinket. We're gonna do at this point is not evasion yet. As you can see, he hasn't clicked anything and he doesn't have pet set because he's using Lone Wolf. This is double tab. This is where you evasion and use your cooldowns. So as you can see, I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna disarm instantly on his double tab. So he feigned us. He's gonna trap in a second. We're not going to cloak it. We're gonna cloak as soon as we have symbols. Not yet. He's gonna fear me off this. So it would have been nice if we trimmered that, but it's okay. This guy doesn't have much damage. I think it might be a carry. We're going to wait a second. We're going to evasion now. See, we don't have disarm. Now we have evasion. Now only his necro ability can actually hit us. As you can see, we evasion. So he has to attack my partner. Four seconds. We're going to go. And basically, we're going to kidney shot. 1v1 here. And he basically just gets taken out. Most likely. Yes, he does. He actually does his die. My guy gets the perfectly stun. I actually did no damage. But uh, my guy actually, you know, we get the dub. We kick him here. Very good for our CC right there. Very good. Guy can just die. And he does get taken out. Really good game for us. And my guy gets the 18 hundo. Alrighty, boys. This is the end of the video for the uh, subrogue guide. If you guys were wondering about any other comps, type in the comments and let me know what you want to see. But uh, yeah, obviously I couldn't get every single class. Uh, there was a few classes that I actually didn't get a face, like Enhancement Shaman, all that other stuff. But let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see another video like this or more videos like this, maybe a different class, all that good stuff, let me know. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe, put on the uh, notifications, check out the Twitch and the Discord. All that stuff's in the description. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.